Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another survival game video. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be teaching you dumbass motherfuckers how to farm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first... How do you grow shit? How do you grow shit? First, you bring your fat ass over to the crafting table, and you make yourself a shovel. Ooh. These are pretty cheap to make. Just a, a chiseled rock, tool handle, and some... Yarn. I actually don't. Okay. I actually don't have a shovel, so I'm gonna make one right now. I need some rock. There's th chiseled stone. There's three things you can do with the friggin' uh, shovel. You can make a path, but it uses up rock, and it just looks like dirt on the ground now. Or, for free, you can till soil, like this. And tilling soil. Oh my god, it's f***ing raining. It's pouring. Okay, so tilling soil allows you to grow crop. So I have this beautiful farmland here. If you go to the bottom left here and click plant seeds, you will have a selection of what to plant depending on what you've been collecting out in the world. So let's say you find some wild carrots or some wild wheat. If you mine it up, there's seeds that you can collect nice. and you can place these seeds on your farmland like this and eventually they'll grow i really if you're doing some high like performance farming i would definitely suggest using an auto clicker like i am here and also a private server and also a private server but this is possible in public definitely easier to do in a public than iron farming but this is pretty much the best way of farming. You get some land that's preferably a way away from the main island, so people don't come messing with you. Yeah. You get your shovel. You start placing shit. Like your farm, your you start placing some tilled land, and then you can easily, if you have one, auto click a bunch of crop onto your land. And this doesn't take long to grow at all. Like it'll be done within. Probably like three minutes, maybe. All this crop, like we'll time it. We'll just stand over here for a minute. We'll see how long this takes. This, I'll speed this up. Okay, okay. Okay, so this stuff is starting to grow now. As you can see, it's f these ones here are fully grown. It's fully growing in front of our eyes. Like, look at this. Hold on, man, I'm tilling. So half of this is full grown. This is full grown carrot right here. This is young carrot that hasn't grown yet. And then once, uh, what do you call it? Once you have fully mined, I mean fully planted and fully grown all your resources, you just mine it up. Dude, that's a lot of carrots. And you can easily make yourself some carrot pie, but you'll also need wheat for that. So you'll, be, you'll have to be farming carrot and wheat. Carrot pie is a really good food if you're in battle. So this was worth farming, the carrots. It really doesn't take long to get the get this growing either, right? Not only that, you almost double the amount of seeds you have with each carrot you plant. So you can expand your farm each time you harvest. Oh my god, I have so many carrots. Dude, look at how much carrot there is. This is bananas. I think private servers are really the way to go in terms of grinding because I mean you can do this in a public sure but the problem is then you're worrying about like getting attacked you know what I mean yeah people stealing your 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 crop I really think grinding like whether it be for food or for like materials like resources to craft you know weapons and stuff like that a private server is the way to go it's free you know, go into a private, mat up, get your all your necessary materials and resources, then go into a public server and raid. Yeah, man. Dude, look at all these carrots, man. I only have two wheat, but this is what young wheat looks like. The wheat has more growth stages than carrot, and I think it takes a little bit longer to grow. What's up? But to make carrot pie, a really good food source, you'll need to make bread, which takes wheat and leaves, and then leaves. you'll eat carrots. 
So if you're going to be farming, I would suggest doing like a little split between the middle of your field and making half of it carrot and half of it wheat. And then you can make pie. Yeah. Carrot pie. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is how to farm for dummies. Yep. <laughs> that's how you farm. That's how you do it, man. Uh, it's nice because it's very early game friendly. You can easily farm at low, like, parts of the game, right? Like, yeah. it's easy to do. doesn't take long. This is what wild carrots look like. Some just spawned right here. 3,523 carrots from one harvest of this field. That's unbelievable. That's crazy. So, that's it. <laughs> that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Farming for dummies. Farming for dumbasses. So, yeah. Definitely suggest a private server if you're going to be doing some farming. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And if you're going to be farming for a certain food, I would definitely suggest carrot pie or berry pie. But the thing about berries is you can't grow them. They're wild. So I feel like carrot pie is really the best food you can get because you can grow it without having to hunt. You know? Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. the easiest food source I find. I hear what you're saying, bro.